So, what about the Big Mac Index? What does that tell us? The Big Mac Index, if you don't know, is a measure of purchasing power parity. And basically, you look at a Big Mac in the US, which is the ground point, and they look at the cost of Big Macs all over the world, because you bear in mind, virtually every Big Mac is going to be about the same, within reason. So uh, I laugh there because I've been mean, based some time quite a lot in Malaysia. A Big Mac in Malaysia is nothing like a Big Mac in Australia or the UK. But the ingredients are very similar. It's just how they're cooked and what the local people's appetite like. It's an indication of what's going on in the economy. And over the last three years, the UK has gone up from number 12 on the Big Mac Index to number five. Okay, At the top of the table are people like um, uh, Switzerland, because it's a super expensive place to live because incomes are very high. And that's really the reason, because incomes are high, so it'll bear it. But in the UK, it's a different thing. In the UK, it's a mixture of the pound being weak, so that's cost, forcing up the cost of ingredients. Inflation, post-Brexit, is meaning there's supply chain issues, there's the cost of living going up. And basically, it just indicates that the UK economy is in a poor location. 